I don't just talk about other people's stuff, I also make my own. Books in particular. To date, I have four books you can check out on Amazon. Operation Red Dragon The Daikaiju Wars Part 1, Occult Mafia, Emerald of Maddox City, and the short story collection Assorted Absurdities, Tales of Kaiju Punk, and Other Genres. Hop on down to the description for Amazon links to all four books. Enjoy whichever ones you read, and enjoy the video. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Omni Viewer, and there's a bit of news regarding the upcoming Toho Godzilla movie, currently under the very tenuous title of Godzilla Zero, that I thought would be interesting to discuss. The bit of news that's come out about this movie is that it's going to be a standalone movie, which means at the moment they're not planning any sequels, nor are they planning it to be part of a shared universe. You may recall a few years ago, it was announced that Toho wanted to do a World of Godzilla, and that original announcement, I remember very clearly, said they not only wanted to start with a solo Godzilla movie, but also do a solo Mothra and a solo King Ghidorah movie, before moving on to a shared universe in which they'd cross over. Now, a lot of sources I've seen that are repeating this news about Zero being a standalone film are now claiming that was either a mistranslation or a misunderstanding or something, and that a shared universe was never actually part of the plan. I'm not so sure that's really the case, but you know what? I believe it's not the case anymore, certainly. It's been a few years since that announcement was initially made. Plans can change. And right now they're planning for Godzilla Zero to be a standalone movie. And to be honest, I think that's not a bad decision. After all, we've seen far too many attempts to start cinematic universes in the past few years fall completely flat because they jumped the gun and were so intent on setting up a universe that they forgot to be a proper movie and instead just wound up being feature-length trailers for a bunch of movies that we never wound up getting. The Mummy and the Hellboy reboots come to mind. Even shared universes that managed to go along for a little while, like the DCEU or Disney Star Wars, didn't really do that well. DC didn't have enough people on board at the beginning to actually get it moving forward, hence why it's getting rebooted now, and Disney Star Wars is running on fumes. So I can understand why Toho might be looking at that and thinking, eh... Godzilla's already in his own cinematic universe over in America. Let's not jump the gun with this one. It may also be a way to get ahead of the rumor mill and sort of cut that off at the pass. See, a lot of people back when Shin Godzilla was released were clamoring for a Shin Godzilla 2, which never wound up happening. And the weird thing is, a lot of people seem to assume that Shin Godzilla 2 was an inevitability, because who makes standalone movies anymore, especially in big franchises? So, obviously, with an ending like what Shin Godzilla had, which clearly wasn't just Anno being Anno, there had to be a sequel in the works. And when Toho announced they weren't going to go forward with making a second Shin Godzilla movie, that got interpreted as meaning it was cancelled but you can't cancel something that never existed in the first place. Similar thing happened with Singular Point Season 2. A lot of people, again, were assuming that a second season of Singular Point was just going to happen. That was actually one of the major defenses for why Season 1, or should I say, the complete series, had a non-ending, because it was all just setting up a second season. But no second season was announced at the time. To date, there still hasn't been an announcement, and it's not looking like there's going to be. And that could change, sure, but at the moment, Singular Point is just one of the many, many standalone, one-season, 13-episode-long anime series that are so common these days. So in light of all that, it seems like the Toho execs are stepping forward and going, Okay, we're gonna tell you right now, no plans for a sequel. No plans for a shared universe, just a standalone, single Godzilla movie. And that means the Reiwa era of the Godzilla series is starting to feel an awful lot like the Millennium era, where it's a bunch of standalone works and a few works that are connected to each other, but nothing actually cohesive that forms a single story that goes between films. 
at least not beyond a handful of them as mentioned. Now, I do believe that Godzilla Zero, or whatever it winds up being called, is currently being planned as a standalone single film. But like I said earlier in the video, plans can change. So, just because there are no official plans for a sequel now, doesn't mean there won't be a sequel announced later, or that the plan for a shared universe might not somehow come back. We don't know at this point. All we know for certain is that Z Zero, or whatever the title winds up being, is a standalone work for now. And, well, maybe that'll wind up being a good thing. Not everything needs to be a part of a greater series. And I'm saying that as someone who's writing his own shared universe. It's okay to have stuff that's just a standalone work. In fact, to be honest, I'm kind of starting to miss that stuff. But even so, the possibility still remains that sequels can happen. It all depends on how Godzilla Zero is received, I think. And we will see how it is received later this year. So until such time as that happens, this is the Omni Viewer signing off. Congratulations, you reached the end. If you enjoyed this video, you might want to consider supporting us on Patreon. Of course, the other way to support us is to go to Amazon and check out our books, Operation Red Dragon, The Daikaiju Wars Part 1, The Occult Mafia, Emerald of Maddox City, and Assorted Absurdities, Tales of Kaiju Punk, and other genres. Also, check the description for links to DeviantArt and other platforms we operate. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.